Uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is no tutorial this time. This is just going to be a little quick update on what I've been doing with the computer. Because I mentioned uh, however many months ago because I never upload. However, however long ago that was when I mentioned that I'm still doing it. Well, I am, and it's changed a lot. You know, since <laughs> the ages ago that you guys have actually seen that sentence almost made sense. Then it's late. Okay, you gotta give me some slack or whatever. And really, I don't care if you give me slack or not. I think it's fine. Anyways, anyways, I've done, been doing a lot of work. I would have shown I would have shown this off earlier, but it's been broken for ages. Like, um, if you excuse me for a second. Um, I'm, I'm getting over a sickness, which is fun. <sighs> I'm, I'm all jacked up. I'm trying to do this in a hurry, but okay, okay, okay yeah, focus. <sighs> right. Anyways, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would have shown this off earlier, but like, I had a lot of issues. For instance, a big one was you're supposed to be able to enter commands in it, and stuff will happen. Well, that was broken for a long time. I only fixed that like the other day actually. So <laughs> it's just it's a lot of stuff's going wrong and it's finally actually working again. And I've changed this a lot. Like this looks nothing like how it was before. This is a lot more a lot more going on, a lot more complicated. Perhaps I'll even talk about what happens and my headphones are about to die. So I should I you know what? I think it's fine. I'm just gonna put it in quickly because I don't have time to recharge the headphones <laughs> this is so jacked up just gonna quickly show this off again to show off that I'm not lying about what I'm doing oh shoot that's not the right it's not the right one the top one okay there's a bunch of ports up here this is so the well CPU I'm gonna call this the CPU uh, can I actually connect to other devices like this video display thing that I'm currently programming to actually do something more than show numbers because like right now at the moment it is just a debugger like I just I just need it to see numbers you know I used it to actually fix the commands and now I'm kind of writing or designing an API or is that the right term AP is that the right yeah that's the right term I think yeah, an API to actually, you know, use this thing properly because I want, what I want is I want the CPU to like be able to send the GPU instructions on what to do and the GPU does it. That's all I want. But as it turns out, that's not as simple as it sounds. I need to design a useful, robust, efficient system uh, for communication between the two. And that is a task especially if I want because I want to be able to make windows and stuff um so I can show numbers and type in it and things like a real monitor but that's kind of difficult um so instead of showing what the incomplete mess that that is I'm just gonna put on the uh, normal just debugger what I've been seeing for the past few weeks when you actually turn this on this on hmm. did I not plug it yeah I didn't plug it in <laughs> oh man this is professionalism right here I'm getting a lot of lag right now that's not your video player like Gmon does not enjoy this at all Gmon really hates my computer I'm trying to optimize it um, but it's it's difficult there you go there's the numbers let me hurry up you can enter in things like, you know, the classic command.com from DOS. That's not supposed to happen, actually. It's not supposed to say memory updated. That, that, that should be, that's from a different command, in fact. Oh, shoot. Wait. I think it's from this one. Resetting memory. Something right here. <laughs> I said it was fixed. It's almost fixed. No matching command found. That's a lie. Memory update. See, that's right. That's correct. Try again. Resetting memory. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 
Let me see what commands I actually have, because I have a list of these. Uh, let's let's try let's try virtual screen, which has. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't program to actually do anything. Virtual screen. What that's supposed to do is that's supposed to because you may or may not be able to see the seams between this screen depending on YouTube compression but this is actually four console screens that I put next to each other so that um, I have more screen real estate however I have to program the computer to use them like one screen and that's that w that's the ultimate purpose of virtual screen it's like an abstraction layer between uh, the actual monitor and or the actual screens and just trying to write stuff to the display but yeah I can type when it's still like normal I can use the arrow keys to go back even though the cursor doesn't update with the arrow keys which I should fix now you may be wondering why it looks so uh, complicated well it has a lot of stuff it needs to do some of it you can tell or at least that some of these names with the address buses are I put legacy on them that's because I designed it for backwards compatibility because I am not I I tell you like I am not rewriting message like this the message writer and the keyboard stuff I'm not redoing that so I just wrote or I put these address buses to use the same uh, addresses for the keyboard and the screen and stuff as previous things have because I, I just can't be bothered to do it really I'm probably gonna do it eventually because I do plan on changing this whole screen thing. In fact, I have a screen in the works. Uh, God knows if that'll actually be a thing, though. It depends on how much time I have. It depends on how much will I actually have to do it. Um, but yeah, it's still here. It's still a thing. I think it looks gorgeous. It's freaking cool. I love. I love this design. Like it's almost like, well, a GPU kind of, or at least has the thickness of it. Um, I, I love how it looks. I got the idea to put the CPU in a slot from like old IBM computers because they have, um, I know one of them at least has the CPU instead of on a socket like in the motherboard, it's on a card like this and it's called like the processor complex or something like that. And that's what I got the idea from, that's what I got the idea for putting the CPU on a card like this and it's super useful. Like I can just switch them out on the fly and it's really nice and I have these like little switches for legacy mode because uh, for some reason, there's like an old version. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The CPU has a really nice feature called extended mode, and that enables page paging and memory access and stuff like that. If I if I enable legacy mode, it disables that, and it's just in its default mode. It's not in legacy mode or anything. So if I were to, it also runs like old code too. So if I were to just dis or enable legacy mode turn it off reset turn it back on and you'll see different stuff on there because this is an older thing like you'll notice it said testing IO drive or IO for disk drive or something like that and there's no disk drive in here and in fact there hasn't been one in here for months so that's so that tells you that's like very old but yeah and here's the nice debugger that I made it has two modes for it like because um, I treat all these numbers kind of like a matrix um, so it has two months for displaying things there's column major and then there's row major and that right now it's in column major just because it's a little bit easier for me to read um, you know in column major mode and yeah I think that's about it it's really nice it's coming along very nicely I might release the source code um, on github I'm seriously considering it Oh, and I made a Discord. I'll link it in the, in the uh, description. So yeah, maybe I'll make a tutorial next time on how to use the stack in segments and all that nasty stuff that I don't particularly like doing, but it's super useful. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you want to see. Sorry for the lack of content. I, yeah, I don't even really know what to say. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. And Christmas break is coming up soon. Maybe I'll do something for that. God only knows. Anyways, thanks for watching.